Biography of Arthur Conan Doyle by Gabriela Araujo Born on the 22nd May 1859, Arthur Conan Doyle was the son of Charles Altamont Doyle and an Irish mother named Mary Foley. After the death of his alcoholic father in 1893, Arthur, supported by his uncle, went to the Roman Catholic Jesus Preparatory School, Stonyhurst. After this, he attended Stonyhurst College, from where he received his graduation degree in 1875. Between 1876 and 1881, Arthur studied medicine at the University of Edinburgh. In 1882, he managed to set up a medical practice in Elm Grove, South Sea. The practice initially did not earn him much, and he found plenty of time while waiting for his patients to write. In 1887, a study in Scarlet, for his first important work featuring Sherlock Holmes was published. He was motivated by a professor named Joseph Bell. How I ever came to write the Sherlock Holmes stories, it came about in this way. I used, as a student, uh, to have an old professor, his name was Bell, who was extraordinarily quick at deductive work. Myself, well, if a scientific man like Bell was to come into the detective business, he wouldn't do these things by chance. He'd get the thing by building it up, scientifically. Holmes fairly took root. I've written a good deal more about him than I ever intended to do, but my... There are 56 Sherlock Holmes short stories and four novels starring him. But Conan Doyle was not only an incredible writer and photographer, he played golf, football as a goalkeeper, cricket, and was an ophthalmologist and physician. Arthur Conan Doyle married his first wife, Louisa Hawkins, in 1885, and he had two children, Mary Louise and Arthur Eileen Kingsley. Arthur's second wife was Jean Elizabeth Leakey, who gave him three more children, Dennis Percy Stewart, Adrian Malcolm, and Jean Lita Ennett. Arthur tried after much. Not successful, he continued writing. He decided to kill the character Sherlock Holmes in the story The Final Problem in 1893, but brought him back in The Adventures of the Empty Hat. In his later career, Arthur began writing about the political sphere and wrote what is believed to be one of his greatest masterpieces, The Lost World, in 1912. In the early 20th century, Arthur suffered from many personal losses. His wife Louisa died of tuberculosis, his son Kingsley and many other close relatives started dying one after the other. These incidents pushed him into a state of depression and turned him into an obsessed spiritualist. He wrote many books about this religion, like The Land of Mist or The Coming of Fairies. Arthur Conan Doyle died of a heart attack in the family garden on the 7th of July of 1930 and was buried in Hampshire in England. His wife Jean was buried at his side after her death in 1940. Arthur Conan Doyle was a great man and no one will ever forget him. <laughs>